Hi, my name is Ann Dixon, and I'm an engineer, uh, one of the women engineers discussed in this new book, The Women of Apollo. I had uh, grown up in New Jersey and moved to Southern California and accepted a job with the Apollo program in Downey, and then moved on to TRW to work on weapon systems when the Apollo program matured. But I never lost track of the people on the program, nor lost my dream of being a woman engineer, being an astronaut. At that time, I learned of a program that Jacqueline Cochran, the pilot, was funding at the Lovelace Foundation in Albuquerque. And uh, at that time, there were no women astronauts, and she was funding it to promote it. So I applied to, as a candidate, but I wasn't accepted because I didn't have the required 60, 600 hours flying time. But they did ask me to uh, participate in the program as a, an advisor and a public relations for many years. Uh, very successful, and as all of you know, eventually uh, women astronauts are quite commonplace. But at that time, the Apollo program was nearly complete and we were ready for launch. And I can recall my husband and I standing on the beach at Cape Canaveral, listening to the Saturn thunder off with these three astronauts, and it was thrilling. They were on their way and it was working. And then, of course, like many of us, many millions of people, we were glued to the television set in July of 1969 to watch Neil Armstrong make that one giant leap. On From there, at the end of that year, we attended a banquet at the Century Plaza where President Nixon honored these three astronauts, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. That was absolutely overwhelming. It proved the program had been a monumental success. It had worked, the thousands of people working on it had made it happen, and I had been a part of it. Now, if you want to hear more about this book, please log on to www.cascadepass.com, and we'll be able to give you more information about it.